welcome to Tech Team GB. Today is the second video about Windows 8. Now, the first video has been very popular, and thanks for watching that if you already did. Now, this will be a sort of survival guide on how to get through Windows 8 if you don't have a copy of Windows 7 available, or you're just going to try and bear with Windows 8. Now, there's a few things that you need to have to be able to live through Windows 8, and that's either a copy of Windows 7 or a few other downloads that I'll show you in a second. So the, my most favourite program for Windows 8 is Classic Star. This is available for download through Ninite, that's uh, Ninite.com, and just download the Classic Start. And I'll show you that in a sec, but I'm going to run you through some of the cooler features that Windows decided to act, uh, Microsoft decided to actually put into Windows 8. So uh, let's get on, shall we? So one of the first things that I really like about Windows 8 is the multi-screen de uh, desktop slash taskbar. Now, I really like this image. This is the ROG logos, but with uh, some effects and uh, duplicated. Um, these are two uh, 4x3 uh, 1280 by uh, 1024 screens. So they're not terrible resolution, and I think that just looks really awesome. But um, the thing that I want to focus on is this taskbar down here. So as you can see, the taskbar currently has standard taskbar with the time and date here. I've added a start menu, I'll show you that in a second. But uh, it also has the taskbar running along here. And you're thinking, well I quite like to be able to like watch movies on like my second screen while like doing work and changing between applications on the first screen. Well, now you can. You can either disable this taskbar, leave it on so it duplicates both sides or I'll leave it how I have so let's say I want to I open uh, the the uh, Explorer right Windows Explorer now you see you see it's pinned to the taskbar down here but if you move it across all of a sudden it appears on this taskbar because it's open on this window so if you have several applications and you remember that you had one Windows Explorer over here on your pictures I don't know, and Windows, one, one Windows Explorer open on your, uh, I don't know, your program files, and then you had Chrome open over both of them, you could just go, well I remember it was on that side, so let's just go here, oh there it is, found it, it's a bit more useful, it's not really something that you would uh, use very frequently, but it is pretty cool and I do quite like that feature. Um, one of the strange things about Windows 8's desktop is that if you go to the side and open the charms up, right, you get you get your charms, you get your um, little time and you know whatever, but it also comes up on the other side, so it comes up on both screens as you can see now. So if I go to the corner and very carefully put my uh, cursor there, it cut it comes up on the main screen, but if I go to the other side, it also comes up on the other screen. And one of the one of the even weirder things is if I, if I hit start here, it comes up with Metro, but I still have the desktop open. So if I go into the store and Metro on my right screen, store is quite slow, sorry. I can also, for some reason, it's pretty cool I guess actually, I can also navigate through Windows Explorer while the store loads. Whatever. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? And you can also, if I do this right, no, you can't. So if I can drag this, you can also switch sides. So I'm doing stuff on this one. Well, oh, store's gone. It's a bit, it's a bit iffy, but uh, it's kind of cool. Although I don't really use Metro because Metro's crap. I'm sorry, but it is. Also, another thing is, you know if you go to the side, you get the little icon of what you're on in Metro, or if you go to the bottom, sorry, if you go to the side and then hover over, you get your uh, taskbar along the left. It also happens on the right screen. Why does that work? Personally, I'd rather have all your icons here, your uh, charms here, and then all your other stuff here. 
I don't know if, what you think. Let me know in the comments below. There, I think. I don't know. You'll find it. Um, but it's a, it's a bit of an iffy, iffy thing. Now, uh, my favourite thing for surviving Windows 8 is definitely Classic Start. If you can see this, it's basically the original Start menu, except you're uh, able to customise it so much more. So you, you uh, hit, the hit, hit the Start button, which is currently the blue Windows 8 logo. When you click it, it turns into the coloured Windows 8 logo, as in the blue, red, green, yellow. If you right click on the button, you can close it. You can also have a load of settings appear when they appear. Sorry, I'm transferring all my Steam files from that PC to this one, so it's really slow. But um, so here's all the settings for the uh, classic start. So you have things like um, all the animations you can change. What's on the start menu? You can change it from Windows Classic to Windows XP to Windows 7 start menu style. I prefer Windows 7, but um, if you like the XP one, you can have the XP one. The controls for things like left click option, shift click, Windows key, when you start typing, if you hover over something, uh, if you hover over the button, will it automatically pop up or will it do nothing? Um, there's, a, <laughs> there's a load of options available. Um, also, it shows all the things that uh, come up on the right hand side. So. Um, you know where your your pit, your profile picture is, and then you've got all all your stuff like shut down, run. Um, you have all of those are customizable. So if I don't want to see my recent items on my start menu, I can just uh, you know don't display them. Easy as that. It also gives you options for things like the uh, recent items, where you can say you only want f ten recent items. So I hover over that and it only shows me 10 recent items that I've been on um, in the menu. Also general behaviour for animations. You can do custom skins I believe. If not custom then you can at least change the skin in general. There's so many options. Sounds. What comes up in the uh, menus. Windows 8 settings. So you can skip the metro screen. So I'm hitting start on my keyboard. And see it just comes up the other start. So it just comes up instead of showing me Metro. So if you're desperate to get to Metro you have to go to the charms bar and just hit start. And then Metro comes up. Alright. That's pretty simple. Right. I'm just gonna close store. We had a lot of um, haters on the uh, first Windows 8 video of why PC users hate it. Um, generally things like there was one comment the other day where they said oh if you go into Metro open it up and then you open up a program you just have to drag down yeah you're right but the whole point of that video was to basically just show how awful Windows 8 was I mean I'm not saying for definite that uh, I got everything right but as a tech user I'm very open to tech products I can work out how to use a product like um, I don't know any software it's all intuitive to a point. Obviously, you need to research some things. And for example, After Effects, I had to spend ages just watching videos on how to do stuff. But that's because it's very specialized software. This is Windows 8. This is an operating system, and they got it wrong. Um, also, uh, sorry to hate on Microsoft, but there's one thing that they're coming out with. It's called Windows Blue. Um, now that sort of incorporates with this, but. Uh, Windows Blue is basically like an iterate, another iteration of um, uh, Windows, where basically you subscribe to Windows and then you get uh, regular updates of an operating system. But they're basically copying Apple's um, OS X standard, where basically a new operating system comes out once a week or once a year. And um, that's pretty much exactly the same, but with maybe two features more. It took them three years to make that, and that's not good. They seem to have a, like a good, bad, good, bad, good, bad sort of cycle. So um, let's hoping that if they actually bring out Windows Nine or whatever it will be called, it'll actually be decent. So that's the main points of Windows Eight. 
um, and being able to survive it. If you have anything else you would like me to add to the video, um, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I make another one. But um, otherwise, that's how to survive Windows 8. Classic start, basically. Um, I have done some other changes to make it just a bit more uh, Windows 7 like, um, disable some of the Metro features, but otherwise, um, they're fairly obvious and they're quite personalised to me. So, um, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.